Hey guys, back with another video for my addict blogging channel. So I have with me the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and in this video I will be talking about the new update which has come to the watch. You can see the version I am using is One UI 6 on my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and also software version you can see what is the software version in there. So after the update I will let you know what are the changes that has happened on the watch and what are the improvements also which I am getting on my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are attending sales don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this. So first of all you can see the first thing I am noticing is the transparent notification bar or status bar you can see of the smartwatch and in there you can also be able to see how good and smooth the notification bar is now previously it was a bit choppy and laggy but definitely i am seeing some of the improvement in how the watch is working here very very smooth and i have not seen samsung Galaxy was so smooth for a long long time I don't know what they have done but it has become very very smooth and also some of the icons and tiles are also changed like the weather tile will also be seeing some of the improvements in the color used in the tile so previously it was not this much colorful but now the colors and everything used on the watch has been improved definitely a big improvement in the way the samsung galaxy watch 4 is working and looking right now so this is the update which i have received for my watch and you can see that the update size was huge 2 gb and it took around two hours to update the watch first it downloaded the update on my phone then it copied it to the watch and most of the time the watch was giving an error that update is not getting copied so it's better to download the update on the watch itself not on your phone so that it can get copied on the watch itself only and obviously to download the update only on the watch you have to start the update from the watch and disconnect the watch from your phone so here the update i have installed already and let's discuss about all the changes with the change log which comes with this update so the first change you can see that new look on the watch and most of the thing is about the new watch faces that are added and these watch faces were there previously also but for some areas and regions these watch faces are added so three watch faces the special numbers which i am using right now and two more i will show you what are these watch faces so if i go to the wear app you will be able to see featured watch faces and in here simple digital and the ultra info watch faces have been added and obviously i have downloaded them and i can apply them as soon as possible on the watch this is the watch face which will be applied on the watch now if i am clicking on the save option and obviously there is another watch face the ultra info board which is a really famous watch face for samsung Galaxy watches this also i am getting on the watch right now so very very important watch faces and these watch faces are one way six watch faces which i am getting after the update after that also the one ui visual enhancements so watch components such as buttons and toggles have been redesigned to for greater consistency with one ui component and obviously i have shown you that with the notification panel and how the notification panel is changing colors with the background of the wallpaper of the watch and obviously if i am increasing or decreasing the volume some of the components have also been changed also you will be getting a default font which gives it a more stylish and modern feel yes the font is changed now and the font is a bit different from previous fonts but it looks nice it goes with the new update and obviously it feels a little bit more compact and also we will be able to see a lot more of the options on the watch because of the font also if you are using a different font you will still see that font after upgrading to one OS 6 so you can also change the font if you want after that obviously you will be getting an enhancement in the graphics the initial screen of each tile has been redesigned its stunning visuals and consistent feel so what i have seen is a really good improvement in the way the tiles are designed so here is a different tile i am seeing this type of tile was not there 
and definitely i will get the heart rate and everything in one place and obviously the colors are more vibrant this time and the colors and the way it is designed is more consistent with the design of the watch also i am getting ai features so here you can see monitor your energy levels with galaxy ai so galaxy ai has been introduced with the one ui 6 and this is giving me the energy score so energy score is all about some of the activities which you will be doing throughout the day it will give a score based on that and with the favorite exercise also you will get more enhanced insights on the workout which you will be doing so very very important feature and energy score you will be getting after you are using this watch for a long time so i have not used this watch after the update that much so i have not got the energy score now but definitely i will be getting it once i use the watch for a considerable amount of time also in the sleep insights you will be getting a detailed and accurate analysis so obviously sleep insights have been improved and workout routines also has been introduced so now you can create more custom workout routines by combining one or two more exercises so this is something new which has been introduced so definitely if i go to the workout let's see what are the options i am getting so in the workout if i click on more i will be able to see a different type of icon right now can go to the music player if i swipe and obviously i can pause the workout by swiping in the right direction so nice way they have designed and obviously you can see this is the energy score they are telling how much energy score i will be getting and some of the new insights they have added while i will be working out so obviously this is something new and after the workout also the way it is showing me the results of the workout is also different and definitely these new metrics are added like view to max and advanced running metrics it will give you the map on the watch itself which is new because previously i was getting it on the phone and obviously i am getting some of the other insights of the watch also there are improvements on the gestures so you can answer calls turn off alarms call through notification control music and do a whole lot of things with this double pinch gesture on the watch and definitely i will show you that on another video scroll through notification and tiles quickly to quickly swipe the screen left or right from the watch to scroll through multiple notification or tiles at once the speed of the swipe determines how many notification or tiles you will go to so definitely this has been improved also as i have already told you guys that the speed of the notification and overall smoothness of the watch has been improved a lot and i am seeing it overall in the watch performance and also view all activities at once so Tap the bottom of your watch face to view a list of ongoing activities as phone calls, exercises or music playing. So whatever you will be doing, you can go to the recent apps or the activities which are going on in the watch by clicking on the bottom of the watch face. So if I am doing a workout, it will come in the bottom of the watch face or if I am doing something like listen to music also, I will be getting that on the bottom of the watch face so definitely a really good way to go to the recent apps convenient one-handed use with universal gestures so universal gestures you already know it was there smarter replies with ai so what will happen now is if i am getting any of the notification on the watch it will give a smart reply option that means it will suggest me some of the replies which i can send directly via the watch and obviously this works with phones running one ui 6.11 or higher which supports ai suggested replies so this will work with any android phone not only samsung phones so i will show you guys in another video how this works reply quickly with favorite emojis so emojis has also been improved with this update different type of emojis are also added in this update minor changes are also done like weather info which is important you can choose now which weather info you want or two word clocks you can see at the same time on the watch so these are tile improvements 
so if i go to the tiles you will be able to see there is something different now weather tile has two modes one is weather forecast and one is weather on top of that you can edit the weather tile also so if i click on this you can see there is an edit option also and which type of data i want i can edit in the tile itself or the look and feel of the tile also i can edit so definitely this is something very very important that they have done in the samsung Galaxy watch 4 it will give a more customization on the watch off the top of that you will also get the option to control which of the notifications you want to get on the watch so you can now control which apps will send notification to the watch or you can also control which notification you don't want so definitely this is more control on the apps which you will be installing on the samsung Galaxy watch 4 you can now automate your watch with modes so modes have been introduced so sleep mode exercise mode theater mode so this type of modes you can set on your phone to get what you want from the watch you can also control the always on display also small things like sound mode disconnection alerts you will be getting everything on one way 6.11 or higher so these modes require you to have a samsung phone with one way 6.11 or higher to work on top of that you can also manage calendar events now from your watch so quickly editing and adding calendar events are now possible and power setting mode is turned on you can also limit health features like auto workout detection and background heart rate measurements so this is something they have worked on so if i just turn on the battery saver mode it will also turn off some of the functions like background workout detection and heart rate detection options also they have made some improvements like watch will turn on whenever you will be putting your watch on charging you don't need to turn on manually also bluetooth devices will be connected automatically you don't need to manually connect them these are something of the changes which you will be getting on the samsung galaxy watch 4 after the update and overall the ui is looking a lot better and the smoothness and performance have also been improved and definitely the most important thing is battery life i'm getting a lot better in this watch after the update previously i was getting around one day but last i have charged this day before yesterday so two days total i'm getting battery life but definitely i have not used this watch that much so with light usage you will be getting around two days of battery life now i will be making more videos on these changes which are minute but very very useful in the coming videos so definitely stay tuned for that i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you